The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Utah's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that they're playing them. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up good and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. That makes it five wide. And they'll run him again. He's into the open field. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. He steps out at about the 43-yard line. That's some pretty timid play calling right there. Let's see if they decide to open it up a bit more. He goes out of bounds around the 38-yard line. Scrambling around. <laughs> They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. From the 28 yard line, it's first down. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled around the 11-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the one. They're really putting a nice drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. He gets rid of this one. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. He's on the run, and a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. And he adds the extra point. So an 11 play, 75 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So our score, seven nothing. Utah is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Gets out to about the 25-yard line. No big on the play. That makes it second and ten. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's knocked out of bounds around the 34-yard line. Field. He makes his way to about the 42, and that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. Tackle at 
the 42. And he shoved out of bounds at the 41. think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Utah is up four. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. That makes it first to 10. Hey, check my 33. Check my 33. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. From their own 27 yard line. Second down. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at the 38 yard line. here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He really got a hold of that one. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. That'll make it second and seven. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Caught, and he steps out of bounds. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's tackled at about the 47 yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. Throws it in a hurry. Here he goes. 
four-yard gain, and that'll be a first down. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. From the 34-yard line, first down. Tackle made at the 25. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. That brings in second and nine. We've played one quarter. The Utes lead 7-3. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. taken down at the 16-yard line. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. The five. He's hit and taken down. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and receiver. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's scrambling. And he is drilled at the 35-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Hey, check by 33. Check by 33. He might have a chance. Number seven, Dan Carey. Call it a gain of 13 yards. First down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Three down, three down. Mike Schiff, 33. 33. With the pass incomplete. Number two. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He gets rid of this one. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. Oh, excellent punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Arizona is up by three. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 20. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Aaron and out long. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Man, this is tough going for this quarterback. Next time out, he needs to just relax. Think back to all those practices and not worry about what's happened in this game up to now. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Booming kick. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. 
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Caught out in the open. And he's level at the 44. First down. And they make the stop around the 35 yard line. That brings up second and one. Mike, check 33. 33. Alert, alert, alert. Check 37. Check 37. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's going to try and scramble, and down he goes at about the 35. They're going to come up short here on this third down. The defensive line did a great job of getting some penetration, and the overall defensive effort was big there to set up this fourth down. Down around the 26-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Let's go. Hit as he threw, and he completes it, and he's tackled at about the 17-yard line. Number 36 brings him down at the 17-yard line. That brings up second and one. The 10. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want to know. That makes it first and goal. They'll drop him for a loss. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the run. It's the ninth play of the drive. He tackles him for a loss. Third and goal for the lead. Open receiver, no good. Utah is looking to tie things up. He gets it up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this okay. game. Like this is that. the point in the just game like where that. you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. And somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. And he hits him hard at the 14-yard line. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That's a great tackle at the 28-yard line. You know, the offensive play calling wasn't clicking on that last drive, and their execution was lacking. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. 
He's tackled at the 29. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Nothing flashy at all. But now, that first down marker is a lot closer. They come out at a five-wide set. Scrambling around. And he tackles him hard at the 41-yard line. Well, everyone was covered, so he took it himself for the first down. This guy is fearless. He'll put his head down and take a hit, too. He doesn't care. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He lets it go. This one's intercepted. It's the sophomore safety. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Catches it, and that's all. Wildcats call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. This guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's hand. He'll go up and get it. Throws to the back quickly. Off his hands. Incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. And they hit him in the backfield. And the safety with the interception. The defense now has two interceptions in the game. I think there was a miscommunication there on the offensive side of the ball. I think maybe the receiver ran the wrong route, but regardless, still great play by the defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Going long. No, incomplete. So we've played two quarters. This one's all even at 10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. 
You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. And the second half just about set to get started. We're dead even. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Ready, left, and he's taken down right around the 28-yard line. Down of bounds around the 33 yard line. Tackle around the 37 yard line. yard line. Second down. They'll bring him down at the 41. And he's got the junior. He's tackled at the 28. to about the 27-yard line. That's a big one. Right left, right left. That makes it second and ten. ten. He makes his way out to about the 12. here by this quarterback sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Touchdown Arizona! Spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense when you have a quarterback who can do things like that. The coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Arizona's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Number 33 on the tactical at the 32 yard line. Three down, three down. Mark That'll bring up third and two. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it first and ten. Take it go! Alert! 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 They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Runs right for a nice game. That brings him second and five. They come out in an empty backfield. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a game of six yards. First down. Three down, three down. Mark check, 33. 33. Get it. He steps out at the 50. From the 50. Second down. Nice catch on that one. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. First down. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 18. That makes it first and 10. Nice run up the middle. That's good for a game of three yards. That brings him second and five. Touchdown, Utes. Boy, did he look determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. Utah lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Utah's game plan was to run the ball, and they are doing it brilliant. Well, they knew coming in that they'd have to be able to rely on running the football. So far, so good. We'll see how it plays out the rest of the second half. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. He's into the open field. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. Strike to the receiver, and they make the stop at around the 48-yard line. That makes it second and six. He's into the open field. Quick throw out to the receiver. That'll make it 
second and seven. seven. at the 40-yard line. The option can be really oh, tough to defend, but that time it was well that played by the defense. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Mike Seven. Mike Seven. So at the end of the third quarter, this game is all tied up to 17. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through Mike three. Seven, Mike Seven. You better bring it. You better bring it. You've got to wonder here early in the fourth quarter if that stop and a play like that might be the momentum swing this team needs to win it. That'll make it fourth and 14. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. down around the 18-yard line. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 18-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he's tackled at the 19. Take him down immediately. <laughs> Booming kick. Tackle at the 40. Pretty good job by the return man there. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Let's go one more. Makes it out to about the 49. job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. Third down and they need to get it down to the 39. to the tailback and he's taken down around the 47 yard line less than three minutes in the game he gets it away and this is a really nice punt this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Here's 
the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. He fights forward to about the 19. Fires left side. And he stays in bounds to make the catch. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was in bounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After, After review of the, the play, play, the ruling, the ruling on, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So the call on the field will be reversed. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Brought down at the 43-yard line. So can the defense match their effort from the last drive with another takeaway? The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. He wants it all going long. Incomplete. This is a well-designed play by the offensive coordinator. Everything really seems to be working just fine, except for the quarterback. He's got to throw a better football. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 43. And a quick throw. Tackle at the 43. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And he's immediately tackled. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. They'll bring him down at the 16-yard line. From the 16-yard line, it's first down. The 10 makes it to the 8. A gain of 8 on the carry. Huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Tied up here in the fourth. Now would be the time for a goal line stand. Hand off to the left. Touchdown, Wildcats. on the extra point. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. Excellent kick. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Not much time to be creative here. They've got to get the ball into the end zone. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Quick out to his receiver. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line. First down. For all of you watching, it's been a great game, and it has a chance to be even greater. Will the prayer be answered? It's time for the Hail Mary. Going deep. He's picked it off. This time, it's the safety. You 
Utah's team with a tough loss there, but the way their star played today, I think they can maybe build on that for next week. Well, I think that's the thing they've got to focus on. As you said, it's a tough loss for this team, but when you have a great performance by your star player and you're trying to build for the future, they really need to focus on his performance and try to build this team around his ability to make plays. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.